Good morning, Year One. I need your help to edit my sentence for my disgusting sandwich. Using your writing checklist, you are going to help me spot the mistakes. But first, let's read through our sentences together. Have you ever wondered how to make a disgusting sandwich? These instructions will teach you. I have four mistakes in my sentences today. Use a writing checklist to help you spot them. Pause the video now. Are you ready to go through our mistakes? Amazing. What is the first thing we need to change in our sentence? Well done. You look to your writing checklist to help you and you were looking for capital letters. Is there a capital letter that starts with my sentence? No. Let's add a capital letter. We need a capital H. Is there another capital letter? Louder. Is there another capital letter? Yes, there is. Where is it? Great spot. For our second sentence, we also need a capital letter. We need a capital T for these. So we have our capital letters. What else is wrong that we need to change? Well done. Does teach need a capital letter? No, it's not the start of our sentence. It's not a person or a place. So we need to change that back to a lower case T, a small T. Fantastic. Have we got our full stops? Yes, we have a full stop at the end and we have a full stop here. Do we need that full stop? No, we don't. Have you ever wondered how to make a disgusting sandwich? That's a question. So what do we need instead of a full stop? We need a question mark. Well done for spotting those mistakes. So now we have our full stops. I can see here we have our finger spaces. Are your letters on the line? Yes, my letters are on the line. We got a very exciting letter this morning for year one. Read along with me. This is from Mrs Twit. Dear year one, I am writing to you because I've heard you make the most disgusting sandwiches ever. Please, could you make instructions for the most revolting and gross smoothie you can think of for Mr Twit? All the best, Mrs Twit. P.S. Don't forget your key tips. How amazing is that? Mrs Twit saw all your work on Seesaw and she thought that you were the best people to make the grossest food that she could think of. But rather than a sandwich, she now wants a disgusting smoothie. Do you think you can make a disgusting smoothie for Mr Twit? Are you sure? Great. Now, Mrs Twit has already made some really gross food for Mr Twit before. If you've read the book by Roald Dahl, you would already know this. I'm going to show you a clip of how disgusting her food can be. She made spaghetti with worms and she called it squiggly spaghetti. Here is the video to show you how gross that was. One day, Mrs. Twit sneaked out into the garden and dug up some worms. <laughs> She chose big long ones and put them in a tin and carried the tin back to the house under her apron. At one o'clock she cooked spaghetti for lunch and 
she mixed the worms in with the spaghetti, but only on her husband's plate. The worms didn't show because everything was covered with tomato sauce and sprinkled with cheese. Spaghetti's moving, cried Mr. Twit, poking it around with his fork. It's a new kind. It's called squiggly spaghetti. It's delicious. Eat it up while it's nice and hot. Mr. Twit started eating, twisting the long tomato-covered strings around his fork and shoveling them into his mouth. Soon there was tomato sauce all over his hairy chin. It's not as good as the ordinary kind. It's too squishy. I find it very tasty. Mmm. She was watching him from the other end of the table. It gave her great pleasure to watch him eating worms. I find it rather bitter. It has a distinctly bitter flavour. Buy the other kind next time. Mrs. Twit waited until Mr. Twit had eaten the whole plateful. Then she said, Do you want to know why your spaghetti was all squishy? Mr. Twit wiped the tomato sauce from his beard with a corner of the tablecloth. Why? And why it had a nasty, bitter taste. Why? Because it was worms! Cried Mrs. Twit, <laughs> clapping her hands and stamping her feet on the floor and rocking with horrible laughter. That was really gross, wasn't it? Do you think you can make a smoothie even grosser than squiggly spaghetti? I think so too. Today we're going to be writing a hook for our disgusting smoothie. Let's go through our story map for our delicious sandwich so we know how to change it for our disgusting smoothie. Ready with our actions and our words? Have you ever wondered how to make a delicious sandwich? Question mark. These instructions will teach you So today we're going to be changing the hook. So thinking back to last week, where we all learned all about hooks, how they draw the reader in, and they usually are a question. So that means we need to have a question mark at the end. So you want to grab the reader's attention about our disgusting smoothie. So last week we came up with lots of different ideas. Here are some more that I came up with. Have you ever wanted to try to make a disgusting smoothie? Have you ever thought about making a disgusting smoothie? Do you want to know how to make a disgusting smoothie? Pause the video now and I want you to come up with some hooks you could have for your disgusting smoothie. Make sure you write them down on a piece of paper so they can help you later. Excellent. Have you written down some ideas? Can you tell me one of your hooks? Excellent. Did you remember your question mark? Fantastic. If you forgot, don't worry, add your question mark in now. Now, this week we're not writing about sandwiches, we are writing about smoothies. Now, I think most of you know what a smoothie is, but if you don't, it's when you usually, when it's really nice, put lots of fruits or you can put fruits and vegetables into a blender and you chop them up, you put them into a blender and you put the lid on. You press this button and it blends everything to make it liquid. Then you can pour it into a glass and then you can drink it. So that is what a smoothie is. If you don't know how, 
how to make a smoothie or what a smoothie is, you can watch a video online. Now, we have to think of adjectives for our smoothie. Remember, this is a disgusting smoothie. We're not going to have adjectives like lovely, tasty, amazing. We have to make sure our adjectives tell us how gross this is going to be. Now, last week, you were all amazing, including your adjectives. This week, we're going to challenge ourselves and we're going to pick two adjectives for our smoothie. Here are some I came up with. Revolting and disgusting smoothie. Gross and mouldy smoothie. Stinky and sticky smoothie. Black and green smelly smoothie. So now it's your turn to write lots of different ideas on the same piece of paper with your hooks. Can you write at least three different ideas, making sure you have two adjectives? And here you have the spelling for smoothie. Pause the video and have a go. Have you written at least three ideas? Amazing. Can you tell me at least one of your adjectives? Can you tell me another? Can you tell me your favourite two adjectives you've picked for your smoothie? Excellent. That makes your smoothie sound really gross. Now, I'm going to show you how I write my hook. I am going to show you on some special piece of paper that we have this week that I hope that you are going to use. This week, we are going to be writing our instructions on the same piece of paper. Rather than writing it each day separately on different pieces of paper, we are going to write our introductions on the same page to make sure they are all ready for Mrs Twit to read. So watch me now write my hook. I have written out how to make a disgusting smoothie and I have underlined it. I'm using my special smoothie paper but if you don't have that you can just write in any lined paper that you have and this week we are going to try and write off all our instructions on one piece of paper or if it goes over we can use two. Rather than doing each day on separate pieces of paper we are going to do them all on the same piece of paper so then at the end we have a full set of instructions ready to give Mrs Twit. So after you've written your title and underline it you are then going to write your hook. You should have your piece of paper with all your ideas ready. Here I have all my hooks that I thought of and then I had my ideas for my smoothie, my adjectives. So first I'm going to think about which hook would I like to pick for my disgusting smoothie. I'm going to pick have you ever th have you ever thought about so I'm going to start with my capital letter I have my words in front of me so I can copy my spelling so capital letter have make sure you remember your finger spaces and look I am writing on the line have you ever th or t thought about have you ever thought about how to make how do I spell make mm. A chatty friend a make a cake. Have you ever thought about how to make a and then I, I get to pick two adjectives. So here I have my smoothie and I have two adjectives and I have lots of ideas here. I have revolting and yucky, disgusting and gross, horrible and icky, vile and deadly. So I'm going to pick disgusting and gross. 
how to make a, and then I'm going to copy my spellings, disgusting and gross. Gross and then smoothie. So smoothie is in your title, so you should be able to copy the exact spelling for smoothie. Sm -u -e. Then, because it's a hook, it's a question, what do I need at the end? Am I going to have a full stop? Nope. Am I going to have an exclamation mark? Nope. What do I need? Well done. I need a question mark. Have you ever thought about how to make a disgusting and gross smoothie? Now I need to go on to my next sentence about the how these instructions will teach you. So capital letter, these, so it's a th, these instructions. And I can look to my story map to help me with my spellings. These instructions were, eh, uh, teach. How do I spell teach? T, e, cup of tea. What's the last sound? T, e, ch, ch. Well done. These instructions will teach you. And I'm going to add a bit extra. These instructions will teach you in eight. Now I know how to write eight. Rather than drawing the letter A, I can write the word. Eight, it has our special friend I. Eight, easy, but gross steps. What do I need at the end of my sentence? Well done, I need a full stop. Let's read it from the beginning. How to make a disgusting smoothie. Have you ever thought about how to make a disgusting and gross smoothie? These instructions will teach you in eight easy but gross steps. So looking at my writing checklist, I'm going to go through my work. Do I have capital letters? Yes, I have a capital letter at the start of my sentence here and another capital letter for my next sentence. Do I have full stops? Yes, I have a full stop for my second sentence and I have a question mark for my first sentence, which is my hook. Do I have finger spaces? Yeah, I can see. I have finger spaces between each of my words. Have I written on the line? Yes, I have written on the line. And notice none of my letters go over onto the next line. So now it's your turn to write. You can use your story map to help you with your hook today. Looking at our story map, we are not going to use our adjective delicious. We are not writing about a sandwich. That was that was last week. This time, this should be a smoothie. And we're not going to have the hook, have you ever wondered? We're going to make up our own. You can still write the same second sentence, but you can add more detail, just like I have done. After you have finished writing, use your writing checklist to go through your work. You want to make sure you have capital letters, full stops, finger spaces, and that you have written on the line. Don't forget to write your title at the top, how to make a disgusting smoothie. I can't wait to see your work on Seesaw later. Good luck.